What is going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Equal Espresso and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be briefly talking about Advanced Warfare. We got another behind the scenes look at the making of the game and in it were some cool things. Nothing too major like a gun this time, but nonetheless some cool stuff indeed. What you'll be seeing in the background is the video that I'm referencing, but if you want to see the fully unedited version with audio, check out the link in the description below. That will take you directly to the full video. So what the whole theme of this was is the future tech of Advanced Warfare and Sheffield sums it up best. He says that Call of Duty has to to be realistic and relatable, but this is in fact a game changer. But it's a change I'm assuming will be good. It'll get out of the norm and push the boundaries a little bit for the franchise. So in this video, we're going to talk about the exosuits and some cool stuff that was mentioned. What abilities am I talking about? Well, we've already seen the jumping higher and the ability to move faster, but two things were mentioned today that caught my interest, one of which we've seen a little bit before in the reveal trailer, and then another one is brand new to us, that being cloaking and overdrive. Cloaking, I know a lot of people are worried about this for reasons I'm sure you can clearly make out just because of the chance of it being extremely overpowered or how cheap it could appear to be simply because you wouldn't know where your enemy was. The concept though is absolutely awesome and I wouldn't get too worried because Black Ops 2 had cloaking in the campaign and it never made it into multiplayer. Plus, we aren't into that time of year where we even see multiplayer in the first place. So this is presumably just for single player, but a cool feature for stealth that we'll be able to use. Now next is the brand new ability we're hearing about called Overdrive and Showfield says it's the ability to go faster, which makes it look like the world around you is going slower. So what does this mean? We're going to have a new ability to be able to put our world almost in slow motion, similar to previous breaching mechanics in past titles. And it also reminds me of the focus ability in Grand Theft Auto 5, but this opens a lot of doors and questions for the gameplay with it. It's an awesome feature, but how much can we see? Something like this isn't too game breaking in terms of inequality and play style. So could this be something that we could see transfer over into multiplayer? Either way, I find it really cool and I look forward to seeing more of it. So before before we go, we got another official screenshot from Call of Duty for the game yesterday, and I'll put that up on screen now, but it was hyping up some information for the game coming out this week. Whether or not this was the info that we got here today that they were referencing, I'm a little unsure of because yes, it's info, but it wasn't anything that to me needed hyped up. But that's been my time, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited to see more of this overdrive feature? That is the question of the day here for you guys. If you did like the video, please leave a like right down below. Any shares to your Facebook? Twitter and or MySpace if you're OG like that or it's greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content and your new news and information. You guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel. Thank you guys once again so much for watching. My name is Bitty Cole Espresso. So as always, if you guys are having a great day, I shall see you guys tomorrow. Take care and peace. Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>